Oh, thanks. Hey Cricketers, welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm so happy to have you here. Today, we're going on a Dollar Tree Cricket haul. I've been stuck in the house for several days. The weather has been yucky and raining. And me and Barrett love going shopping. Barrett's gonna pick out some toys and Mommy's gonna pick out some craft supplies. The Dollar Store has so many great products that work well with Cricut Crafting. You can get blanks, office supplies, shipping supplies, t-shirts, wine glasses, so many different things. Make sure you watch this video all the way until the end because I'm gonna go up and down every single aisle and find everything Cricut related that I can find. If you can use it for a Cricut business or Cricut projects, it will be shown in this video. Before we get started shopping though, I have a favor to ask you guys. All I ask is that you go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like this video so that we can keep getting more views on YouTube and I'll keep bringing you exclusive content so that you can grow your Cricut business even more. I've had a Cricut business for a long time. I know where to find all the best blanks and I'm gonna show you what I can find in today's Dollar Tree Cricut haul. Let's go shopping. off with my most recent favorite project and that's flower pots. All of these flower pots that I made are from the Dollar Tree. I have a separate video on my YouTube channel. I'd love if you checked it out. It's called Easy Cricut Projects for Teachers and Mother's Day. There's tons of great ideas on there. Lots of really pretty and unique design ideas. So make sure you check out that video. Water bottles are another great Dollar Tree buy. They come in all different colors. They're great for birthday party favors. They also make a great gift to give to students at the end of the year. I have made hundreds of these water bottles personalized. I had two different teachers from my daughter's preschool who ordered these for every student in their class. Coffee mugs are another great item to get from the Dollar Tree. These are some that I've made in the past. These large plastic buckets are another great Cricut item. Check out these ideas. Sand buckets are also great for personalizing. I was surprised to see these at my local Dollar Tree. Can koozies are easy to personalize in our popular wedding favor gifts and bridal party gifts. The Dollar Tree has a large variety of jars. I've made a killing selling these jars in my store. These tooth fairy jars are also adorable. They have all kinds of craft supplies, rope, shells, marbles, sand. The Dollar Tree is my go-to place to get wine glasses. There are so many cute ideas to put on wine glasses from Creative Fabrica. They have a ton of different bundles. All you need to do is apply one of these great SVGs and you've got yourself the perfect gift. Plates are another fun blank for customizing. You can personalize them. You can turn them into holiday plates for Santa or Easter plates for the Easter Bunny. There's also giving plates for Thanksgiving. These charger plates are one of my best sellers during Christmas. Okay guys, I just got back in my car from shopping and I found something so cool at the dollar store and I'm really excited to show you it. But I'm not gonna show you it right away. I'm gonna save the best for last. So watch this video all the way till the end so you can see what I found. Did you know you can get weeding tools from the dollar store? They also have a huge variety of canvases. Mod Podge is great for crafts. You can get yarn, wood craft supplies. And 
And the best part is, everything is only a dollar. They have all kinds of paint, paint brushes. They have a huge craft selection. One thing that I'm sad to say though, is I don't see any of the Dollar Tree vinyl. Hopefully next time I go in they'll have it. They have a nice selection of glitter, all kinds of pens and markers, some which are compatible in your machine. I love getting rubber spatulas, oven mitts, and cookie mix from the dollar store. If you combine them together, they make an adorable gift set. Check out all these different oven mitt sets that I've made in the past. I've made them for dance teachers, grandmas, school teachers, bus drivers, funny ones for men, these oven mitt gift sets are a great seller for all times of the year. You can customize these for any interest or occasion. Another thing I love buying there is dry erase boards. I made these signs for my front door when my kids were babies and they were a lifesaver. I could not stand when people would knock on my door and my dog would bark and wake up my sleeping babies. I always get rubbing alcohol and goo gone from the dollar store. I also get shipping envelopes, boxes, bubble mailers. I love their price tags with the rope on them. I use those in my store. I like using poster boards to put in the back of my shadow boxes. I buy their paper gift bags. I buy their paper gift bags for putting orders in. You can take the labels off of these candles and customize them. They also have a huge variety of ribbon. I like using their ribbon to put around the necks of my birth announcement elephants. I got these for your baby. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. You actually made out plastic, but they still be good for your baby. Oh, thanks. Their shirts are great for only a buck. They have a huge variety of paint supplies. I bought socks there before to make custom socks with. I like the ones that say, if you can read this, bring me wine. And that wraps up our shopping trip today. So I do have a little bit of sad news. I was really hoping to find that Dollar Tree vinyl I keep seeing people post about, and my store did not have it. It's important that if you have multiple Dollar Trees in your area that you go and check out all of them because not all Dollar Trees carry the same things. I probably have four different Dollar Trees within 30 minutes of my house and each store always has different stuff than the other one. So I'm going to continue my hunt for Dollar Tree vinyl but I did find something really cool today at the Dollar Tree that I want to show you guys. So I bought a whole bag of this one item. Let's see what it is. So at the dollar store, they have their graduation stuff out and I saw this little graduation cap and I thought it was adorable. And you may be wondering, what can you make with this? Well, I have the perfect project. How stinking cute are these? So I've been making birth announcement elephants for years now and they are my favorite project to sell. They're adorable. I have repeat customers time after time. Everybody loves these birth announcement elephants. But these aren't just birth announcement elephants. You can customize these for all different occasions. I've made them for baptisms. I've made them for adoptions. I've made these for a baby shower. I actually had somebody order 10 or 12 of these and they used them as centerpieces on the tables. I don't really know what they did with all of those personalized elephants after the baby shower. I guess they just have a whole lot of elephants. But people just love them. I made one of these graduation elephants a few years ago for my sister when she graduated high school. But at the time, I had to hand make my own cap. I bought black glitter cardstock and I just folded it and I made my own cap and 
Honestly, it was not very good. Like, it didn't stay on the elephant, and there was glitter everywhere. Like, a glitter bomb went off. So when I walked by these in the store, I'm like, oh my god, these are going to be so cute for elephants. If you don't have these birth announcement elephants in your store, then you need to put them in your shop right now. They are only $10 on Amazon. They also come in pink. Most people turn around and sell them for $25 to $30 a piece. These graduation ones are really unique, so you may be able to charge more. If you ever find a project and you're like, oh my God, this is a good one, like this is gonna sell. I want you to write in the comments what project that is for you. And I wanna answer something that a lot of you may be wondering. Like why would somebody like me who has a Cricut business turn around and go on YouTube and share all of my best-selling projects? It's something that I have grappled with for a while. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it, but I'm glad that I did. So truth be told, I don't have a lot of time in my life. I am a busy mom with two kids, Deer and Barrett, and they are four and six years old. I have a whole bunch of animals. I have 12 chickens, two cats, a dog, a hamster, a husband. I'm not complaining though because I am very fortunate. I didn't put either of my kids in school until about a month ago because of the pandemic and Barrett's still not even in school full time. He only goes to preschool two days a week for a few hours. While it is possible to work from home with your kids, it's not easy. Anybody who has kids and is trying to work from home will tell you that. So I'm not trying to run my business to like a massive scale and sell on Etsy and Facebook and all these different platforms. I know that if I had all the time in the world that I really could be making way more money with this, but I don't have all the time in the world and I need to focus on what's important and right now that is my kids. I also saw a huge opportunity with YouTube to grow my business and I think that I can make this channel more profitable. I need your help doing that though. The way for me to become successful on YouTube is by sharing good, helpful content, content that you guys enjoy. So if you do like my videos, I would love if you liked, commented, and subscribed. The more engagement that my videos get, the more awesome YouTube thinks that I am. And then the YouTube algorithm kicks in and shares my video to more and more people, which helps my business grow. So if you like these videos where I share all my best-selling ideas and things that I make a killing on, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel in return. Hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and join one of the biggest cricket groups on Facebook, Cricketer Inspiration for Beginners and Pros. Thanks for watching.